It's a beautiful Sunday evening. I just finished up teaching my very famous purchase options training camp where I was helping investors find it, bind it, and option it by using different strategies such as lease options, subject to sandwich lease options, owner financing, land contracts, land installment contracts, land trusts, and how to close their own deals without escrow and title. It is not for the faint at heart. But one of the frequently uh, asked questions I get all the time is, how can we not set off the due on sales clause? Well, let me explain. In a subject to transaction, we are doing a form of creative financing where we're acquiring the property subject to the existing mortgage. So the existing mortgage will remain in place and the debt remains in the original owner slash borrower's name and the asset transfers to the new buyer. Unfortunately, many people are taught wrong by removing the owner from the deed and drafting a new deed and putting the new owner's name on that deed. That will definitely give the bank reason to call the due, um, sorry, the loan due. We don't want the bank to call the loan due. We won't don't want to give them any reason to call us at any means. So what Black Belt Investors teaches is to draft a new deed, vest it into a land trust, give the land trust 100% beneficial interest to the original owner, and then use a third instrument called an assignment of beneficial interest. Basically, the original owner will be on the land trust stating that they own the property 100%. But that assignment of beneficial interest transfers and strips all rights of ownership to the new owner, the investor. Now, why do we do it this way? Because if the lender ever comes back and asks, hey, has there been a sale on this property? We noticed that you removed your name off the deed. The answer is no, there has been no sale. The original owner, also as the borrower, just placed the property into a family trust. The lender may ask for that trust just to verify that no sale has been done. Remember, on that trust, that trust states that the owner has 100 uh, beneficial rights to that property. At that point, the lender will say, Ah, I see. No problem. It's in your trust. What we did not give them is the third instrument, the assignment of beneficial interest. And that gives all the new rights of ownership to that buyer slash investor. So it's a great creative legal way for us to be able to do creative financing with the existing mortgage in place without having the loan called due. If you'd like to learn more, please visit www.blackbeltinvestors.com or simply call our office at 951-280-1900. And we look forward to helping you.